Hello, welcome to Erwin Singh Academy. So we are going to discuss today probability. Um, this is the very first lecture. So we will start with the probability and we will discuss the concept and their application problems. So let us start uh, probability. What is it and how we can define it? So <clears throat> probability, um, you must be aware about it because it has been introduced since class 9 and uh, there was uh, some discussion in probability 9th and 10th as well. So you must be knowing this, but what the difference between this probability in class 10th and class 9th and 11th? That in class 9th and 10th, you uh, learn the probability on the basis of certain group of data are given and on the basis of that, you have to find the probability of a particular data, whether it is present or not, uh, and what is the probability of occurring it. So this is what called a statistical approach of probability, but here what we will uh, learn about the classical approach of probability in this, uh, the events is going to occur with certain action and on this action, the outcomes are equally likely. Equally likely means what? So let us first explain this what is equally likely. For example, if you toss a coin, then head and tail can come. And we assume that head and tail has equal possibility to come out. So therefore, they are called equally likely. Means uh, we assume that if I uh, throw uh, a coin, then there is a 50% chance that head will come and 50% chance that tail will come. There is no partiality or no bias. So this is called unbiased also. So equally likely means equal probability to come each and every outcome and then it is uh, described as equally likely. So classical approach of probability is uh, described how it will be described and what is the use of this probability that I am going to discuss here today. So let us start with the definition and uh, we will discuss thereafter what is the probability and uh, probability is what. So in uh, this, uh, what is a event? First, let me describe what is an event. So event is what? What is event? What we can say event? Event is every action, action is said to be an event. It's said to be an event. Said to be an event. And every action has certain outcomes. So the outcomes, the possible outcomes are called also event. And uh, these are the set of all possible outcomes is called simple space. Simple space. The set of all possible outcomes, set of all possible outcomes, possible outcomes, outcomes of an event, of an event is called simple space, is called simple space, simple space, right now, set of all possible outcomes of an event is called simple space. For example, uh, if a coin is tossed, coin is tossed, the outcomes are, outcomes are head or tail, or tail, right now, then the passive simple space would be, therefore simple space is the set of all outcome and simple space is denoted by S, remember this, and head can be head and tail. This is what the two outcomes can be. Or we can say uh, S is equal to, for head I can write H and for tail I can write T. NS, NS means denotes the number of all outcomes in simple space. Outcomes in simple space. Right? So, what is here ns and therefore ns is how many outcomes are there two so this is one thing that you need to learn simple space so what will happen similarly uh, when a dice is thrown similarly when and a dice is thrown dice is thrown 
the outcomes are the outcomes are 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 or 6 and therefore the simple space therefore simple space a space s is equal to s can be represented as s is 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and therefore here ns is equal to number of outcomes in simple space is 6 so i hope you got it for its simple space right now uh, out of this simple space some of them may be favorable for example if you want an even number then the favorable outcomes are 2 4 and 6 so these set of favorable outcomes are called favorable events so favorable events favorable events what is that the set of all favorable outcomes the set of all favorable outcomes favorable outcomes the set of all favorable outcomes outcomes is called favorable events is called favorable events favorable events events and usually denoted by and usually this set this set is denoted by f set is denoted by f by letter f so if uh, the favorable outcome is getting an even number if the favorite is if the favorite favorite outcomes are even numbers even numbers then f must contain how much f is the set in which 2 4 and 6 will come and nf is equal to number of elements in simple space that is 3 so nf is 3 nf denote the number of variable count outcomes where where nf denotes the number of favorable outcomes where nf denotes the number of favorable outcomes number of favorable outcomes outcomes right favorable outcomes now probability of an event is defined as favorable outcomes suppose if someone has favorable outcomes that number greater than 6 if favorable outcomes favorable outcomes is a prime number comes is a prime number prime number then what will happen then f is equal to 2 prime number 2 3 and 5 these are prime numbers and therefore here nf is equal to nf is also equal to 3 so sometimes maybe 3 4 5 or 6 maximum so number of favorable outcomes can be number of favorable therefore we get number of favorable outcomes least favorable can be 0 and maximum favorable can be ns total of all of them are favorable so number of favorable outcomes cannot be negative under any circumstances right now number of favorable outcomes cannot be negative under any circumstances i hope you got it okay so number of favorable outcomes now probability of an event is defined as probability Probability of an event 
is defined as is defined as the ratio the ratio of number of favorable outcomes number of favorable outcomes comes to the total number of outcomes total number of outcomes total number of outcomes in in sample space sample space when an event each equally likely equally likely likely right i hope you understood what is the equally likely and therefore probability of an event is defined as probability p e means probability of an event age number of favorable outcome number of favorable outcome to the total number of outcome favorable outcomes to the total number of outcomes total number of outcomes outcomes that is nf by ns so here probability of an event is remember this nf by ns remember probability of uh, an event is nf by ns right <coughs> probability of an event is nf by ns so probability must be in between therefore probability of an event age lies between 0 to 1 how is that i remember this also probability of an event is lies between 0 to 1 probability of an event lies between 0 to 1. How? Let me explain. How? How this? So, here we know nf is equal to we know number of favorable outcomes lies between 0 to ns. Now, divide both the sides. Divide by ns both the sides. Both the sides. What will happen? that will come 0 upon ns 0 upon ns nf upon ns and ns upon ns so what will happen this is nothing else 0 and by definition this is the probability of an event and this is ns by ns is 1 so probability of an event lies between 0 to 1 i hope you understood this probability of an event cannot be negative and cannot be more than 1. Remember, this is a very important point. Probability of an event <coughs> an event can cannot be negative cannot be negative or more than 1. More than 1. Right now? When probability of an event is zero, then it is called null event. So null event, null event, or void event, void event, or impossible event, possible event. Right? An event with probability zero is called null event. When P E probability of an event is 0 it is called it is called null event null event or impossible event or valid valid when the sure event sure event sure event is what when probability of an event probability of an event is 1 then it is called sure event. It is called sure event. event. Means probability is 100%. Then it is called sure event. 
hundred percent. So remember these two points also. These are the two points, and you will be able to remember this. Now let us discuss some questions just to explain this or uh, what we have learned till now. So let us uh, start some questions doing from exercise sixteen point one before moving ahead for another concept exercise. 16.1 very first question i am going to take on here and what is that question that uh, in each of the following from 1 to 7 describe sample space this describe simple space simple space in each of the following each of the following from 1 to 7 from question number 1 to question number 7 right this is what we have to do so the very first question is the first question is a coin is tossed three times a coin is tossed three times. Three times. Then what will be the simple space? <coughs> As coin is tossed three times, then if H represent the head, if H represent head, represent head, and T for tail, for tail of the coin of the coin then simple space will be then s is equal to simple space h h h all three coins can have head together two head and one tail first two coin has head and third one is tail or head tail head or tail head head or tail tail head tail tail head or uh, <coughs> tell head tell head tell tell and tell 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 right so these are eight simple spaces but what is and how can you know that the different combination of simple spaces can be obtained by using this but there is a formula there is a rule in which we can determine the number of simple spaces so write this important point I'm going to write here if a coin is tossed in times is tossed in times or in coins are tossed together tossed together the total outcomes total outcomes in simple space outcomes in simple space age 2 raised to the power n 2 raised to the power n that age <coughs> ns is equal to 2 raised to the power n when n coin are tossed together or a coin is tossed n times the total outcomes in simple space is 2 raised to the power n remember this and that is important for us. so here when three coins are tossed together then total number of outcomes will be 2 to the power 3 and 2 to the power 3 is 8 and so here we have 8 1 3 4 5 6 7 8 so total number of so when three coins are tossed together so when three coins are tossed together coin are tossed together or a coin toss three times together or a coin is tossed three times three times the total outcomes the total outcomes outcomes in simplest space the total outcomes in simple space will be ns is equal to 2 to the power 3 that is 8 
the situation. Remember one more things are similarly like just for knowledge. Similarly, when a dice is thrown, a dice is thrown n times, thrown n times, dice is thrown n times, or n dice are thrown together. together the total outcomes in simple space total outcomes total outcomes in simple space simple space will be ns is equal to 6 to the power n total outcomes in simple space will be 6 raised to the power Remember, so this one is also important because why this is so 2 to the power n and 6 to the power n because coin has 2 phase whereas dice has 6 phase and therefore it is 6 raised to the power n. I hope you got it. Okay. So remember this. <coughs> Now let us uh, discuss some more research or some more examples on it. So example, when a two dice are thrown together, are thrown together, two dice are thrown together, thrown together, and its yes, outcomes are Simple space is then simple space is simple space. S will be one 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 two one three one four one five one six isn't it? Like this up to six one six two six three six four six five six six. Isn't it? So like this, six six. So these are simple space. Thirty six total number of outcomes in simple space will be six square. That is thirty six. Total outcomes will be n s is equal to six square. That is thirty six. So you can do that. I hope you got it. Now let us uh, discuss some more questions from the exercise. The second part, second question is there and second question, a dice is thrown two times that is already completed here and dice is, let me, a dice is thrown two times, thrown two times, two times simple space are, simple space will be one one, one two, one three, one four, one five one six similarly two one two 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 three two four two five two six three one three two three 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 four three five three six similarly four one four two four three four three four four 4, 5, 4, 6 and 5, 1, 5, 2, 5, 3, 5, 4, 5, 5 and 5, 6, right? Similarly, 6, 1, 6, 2, 6, 3, 6, 3, 6, 4, 6, 4, 6, 5, 6, 6. Isn't it? So these are 36 outcomes in simple space. Now let us uh, solve question number 3. A coin is tossed 4 times. A coin is tossed 4 times. Right? 4 times. Then total number of outcome will be here. Ns will be what? Ns is nothing else but uh, 2 raised to the power 4 that is 16. 
So here simple space will be like uh, S is equal to H, 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 H on 4H, then H, 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 T, then H, T can change in their place, H, H, T, H, H, T, H, H, T, H, 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 like this. Now uh, 3H and 1T, now 2H and 2T can possible, or uh, 2H and 2T. So this can be possible in six way, H, 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 T, H, T, like this, H, T, H, T, and uh, now H is there and that can be T, T, H, right now, so both T together or we can have H, T, H, T, now this similarly, <coughs> we can have t h t h t h t h and t t h h t t h h like this okay now uh, the things will can be h t t t now t h t t now t t h t now T, 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 H, that is possible, okay, so this is 12 and uh, 1, 13 and T, 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 so these are 16, so total 16 outcomes are there, that can be written like this, okay, now question number 4, and fourth question is, coin is tossed and dies in throw, a coin is tossed and a die is thrown. Die is thrown. <coughs> Why is tossed and die is thrown? What will happen? In that case, simple space will be simple space will be coin is head and dine can have a one H two H three H four H five h5 and h6 h5 and h6 similarly tail 1 tail 2 tail 3 tail 4 tail 5 and tail 6 this is possible here number of simple squares will be 12 because dice can have 2 and dice can have 6 and coin can have 2 so both of them together will be 2 into 6 that is 12. The coin is tossed, coin is tossed and a die is rolled and a die is rolled. Rolled only in the case, only in the case. A head sewn on the coin, a head sewn on the coin, on the coin, right? So, in that case, sample space will be head and coin is dies 1, h2, h3, h4, h5, h6. So this was the case. I hope you got it. Now question number 6 and 6 question is 2 boys and 2 girls. So we will discuss, uh, let it discuss after the break. So this is all about the basic concept of simple space. We will discuss uh, some questions on simple space after the break. <laughs> Uh, this is the time for break, so I am taking a break, short break, and thereafter we will discuss uh, the remaining questions of this exercise. Till then, take care of yourself. Bye bye. Thank you. God bless you.